Hi guys, welcome again. Um, today's video is going to be about my new tank here, the 150 gallon. I'm very excited. It's um, already set up and it's my second week after my setup. So I just start off doing an update on um, how, uh, how it's going on my tank. So, um, uh, so this is how it looks at this moment of time. Um, I need to add more plants as well. Uh, I had to change a lot of things, you know, several times here and there, especially with you know the rocks, you know. Um, so I need to put some plants uh, to the foreground as well. I haven't done that yet. I'm just collecting all the stuff little by little, all the plants and everything. It's it's quite costly so far. It's uh, it's costed me a lot. Um, so I just I'm just taking my time you know I had to wait for like two weeks to you know get my cycle up I think pretty much everything is in neutral you know the pH is right it's about 6.8 um, I'm is zero nitride is zero nitrate is about 10 p.m. 10 ppm yeah somewhere there uh, yeah looks good you know all those so far so I had uh, I added a few neon tetras to my tank um, there's about 30 of them in there I think uh, let me zoom in for you so yeah that's the shot of neon tetras eh? uh, I think they'll have the space at this moment of time <laughs> but it won't be for a long time because there'll be more fish coming in um, cool, um, just give you a small introduction on the plants I've got. I've got some Argentinian swords um, on the back there, uh, the tall ones, and then um, I've got red pine as well, uh, a little bit of Ampulia, then you've got twisted valve, and in the front I've got some Java ferns that are, you know, sticking onto the um, driftwood. Uh, Going towards the right, I've got uh, rotola, and then uh, a bunch of uh, star grass going. Uh, they're doing pretty well at this moment, you know. I'm just uh, they haven't grown yet. So. Uh, then there's another um, jar fern there on, on the rocks, and then I've got some marble swords in the back there, and then crypts. Just right to the front, uh, front of the marble swords. Um, yeah, a few dwarf sacks here and so dwarf sacks here and there. Sorry. Um, so yeah. So that's how it looks. So far, it's doing pretty well. Uh, even with the cycle, there has uh, no sign of ammonia and all the stuff. So I had to wait for a while to add the fish in. Um, I've been using a bit of chemicals as well to boost up um, boost up the biological process. So I've been adding stab stability. Seacum um, from Seacum, they're one of the best. Alright guys, uh, that's the update on my tank. That's how it looks. I'll keep you guys posted when you know pretty much weekly or bi-weekly um, to for you guys to you know see the progress on my tank. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys uh, soon and thank you so much for viewing my video. If you guys like my video, please uh, like it and um, do subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos like this on my other tank as well. My other tank is over there, but it's dark. Uh, uh, I had to switch on the lights and on this one just to do a video for you guys. Um, all right, cool, awesome. Thank you so much uh, for watching my video and bye bye. See you again later.